previously on Danganronpa. I want to get the thing that looks like doo doo. I don't know, maybe you'd like this weird looking fucking thing. That's a rather unusual item. A window into a distant. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you like it? And now, back to the academy. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Danganronpa. When we last left off, uh, we bonded with some of our classmates some more. And I gave, hey, <laughs> and I gave Tagami a turd, which he apparently loved, much to my freaking, much to my dismay. And now we're gonna go watch a video, and I believe it's gonna be over. Actually, I think I can probably just go straight there, can I? The uh, AV room, yeah. Oh, there we go. Like how fast the load times are in this. Uh, oh, wait, there it is. Okay, what kind of diabolical thing am I gonna watch here? Oh, this thing? Oh, right, there's something in the box. There we go. What the? They look like DVDs, plus, each one's like with one of our names. This has to be the video Monokuma was talking about. I'll go let everyone know. Oh, god dang it. So they're gonna, they're gonna give us videos and each one's gonna be like, like, there's a reason to kill somebody. And you're like, you're like, you know, uh, everyone's gonna have like this particular thing or something they love, like, like, Kung Fu Lady, if you do this, I'll let you beat up on the strongest guy in the world. She's like, she's like, mm, that does sound like a good idea. All right, I'll go murder everybody. So I was gone in the blink of an eye. I didn't chase her, I just stood there by myself. Much be more accurate, I was unable to move. I'm thrilled by the DVDs that lay up for me. Hmm, wonder if there's any point in there. What are on these discs? Can I use it? Just put it in here? Before everyone, everyone comes back, I'll just watch my own. Okay. Pull the DVD labeled with my name from the cardboard box, or into the drive. I made myself comfortable in front of the screen, which remained black for a sh short while. Oh. Ugh! Unconsciously, I let a gasp and a warning siren went off in my head. It says, like, family. I stare into the monitor. An image of my family. Oh, Makoto, it's like a dream come true. You being selected for Kamiyo Kamiyo Academy. Good luck! I'm proud that I can call you my son, Makoto. We all. We're all gonna be honest. We all thought you were a total loser. Yes, you were quite bland. Yeah, you were such a boring. <laughs> you were so boring. The worst brother ever. We're so happy you finally do something with your life. Uh, God, we really, we really had actually given up on you, honestly. Damn it! <laughs> Nobody believes in me. Uh, but hey, don't push yourself too hard, alright? Hey, bro, are you watching? Good luck! It was, it was all that you, ha you had seen. You would have thought it was just a normal good luck message. Just my family cheering me on and wishing me luck at Kiba Kiba and Academy. If this were just part of my normal li Academy life, I'd be overjoyed. And slightly flustered. Risking my family's encouragement, I... I would promise to make a huge splash at the academy. But that's not how it is. I'm not, I'm not living a regular school life. So this is a movie. This, there's no way it ends here. My suspicion was more correct than I could have predicted. Uh. Uh oh. Ha! Oh, I murdered your family, ha! Oh. No! Damn you, freaking Teddy. This time I couldn't even make a sound. I was speechless. Where'd everyone go? Was there like a battle fought here? Don't mind us, we're just fighting off aliens! You don't don't worry about a thing, Nagi! So if in response to my questions, a voice rose from the other side of the screen. Of course I knew all too well. Hondo Nagi, newly enrolled at Computer Academy! His family cheering him on! Appears as though something happened to that family, does it not? Oh! Here's the riddle, just what could have happened to your family? We've been murdered by an evil demon bear with a machine gun and machete? Find out after graduation. W what is this? What happened to everyone? I couldn't stop trembling. Terror, rage, erupted emotion. God damn it! Ah! I pounded my fist on the desk again and again. A single thought rose to my mind. It was completely natural. I have to get out of here. Get out of here right now. I need to see if everyone's still alright. Damn it. Ugh, means I'm gonna murder somebody. Nagi? Something happened. What do you mean, s still alright? 
When it came to you, everyone was gathered by the door to the aviary and watched me in perplexity. Man, something happened! Was it a mermaid's fault? God damn it! Pointing to the cardboard box top of the pulpit, unable to say a word. Oh, this is what Monokuma was talking about. Oh, shit. We always watch the movies. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it's not like the ring, though, is it? We all gonna die in like three days? Just what is recorded on these discs? <laughs> Crowd around the box, snatching up the DVDs and use them. They dashed for the monitors. It didn't take long for the color to drain from their faces. Oh, uh, what the hell? The hell is this? Th this isn't real, is it? It's, it's fake, right? Bad chance. It's real. Bad chance is real. Ah, uh, no freaking way. Come on, man. I, I can't take it anymore! I feel like I gotta kill something! I can't take it anymore! Get me out of this place! I knew from the reactions they all been shown videos just like mine. No one was trying to hide their fear and confusion anymore, but in the midst of all that, she somehow managed to maintain her composure. Now I understand. This is what he meant by motive. By rekindling our desire to escape, he's tried to make us kill each other. The prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, you shot it. You shot who in the what now? <laughs> Wait, I didn't. What? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Take, for example, military expansion. A stand and B stand want to maintain peace, so they propose to cease the military expansion. However, neither can escape the fear of being betrayed by the other, continuing its expansion. In consequence, in consequence, both push forward and expand, and they both inevitably betray each other. In other words, fear of an unseen, unbetrayable betrayal is one's greatest enemy in maintaining balance. Just like us now, right now. <laughs> Beneath the spoken promise of cooperation while trembling in fear of being betrayed. Whoa! <laughs> Where did that extremely masculine voice come from? Don't give anyone any funny ideas. You're falling right into the bad guy's trap, huh? Oh shit, dude, look at his rage face. You're just saying that you should take advantage of us when you we let our guard down, aren't you? Uh, I would never no Do you do you not think do do you not think us fighting like this is the malefactor's objective? <laughs> You're right, we need to cool our heads! We just gotta calm down! Everybody just calm down! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright then, how about we like uh try talking with each other? I'm sure it'll be a load off. Talk about what kind of movies we saw. <laughs> yeah, mine was a porno. <laughs> of course it is. God dang it. Sorry, aren't you a little curious? What kind of movies everyone saw? Sorry about that. I'd be lying if I wasn't interested. Hey, Mazona. <laughs> it's probably like... <laughs> I'm gonna ruin... It's like, I'm gonna ruin your super idol career! Huh? Or make your friends forget about you! Your worst fear! Oh. I can read your mind! I'm an expert! I really are! Oh. What was your video, Mizuno? What? Hurry up and spit it out! <laughs> Mizuno? Raise my hand to her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she bit me! Oh my freaking god! Bleeding! She's, she bit me and ran out the door. Oh, Mizuno? Eh, let her be. I can't just ignore her. I'm gonna go look for her. What is this romantic comedy? Disgusting. Get me out of it! You write romantic novels. I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you... You really don't give a damn, do you? I, I'm concerned, too. Then can, can't everyone just do as they please? The world won't end if we're all, not all marching in step. I, too, shall be doing as I please. Farewell. Farewell. Everything's in shambles. No time to concern myself with that right now. Any thumbs on it? Fuck all of you. I don't care about anybody in this room. Shamara, what did you say? Oh, I bet. Forgive me, I need time to prepare myself to say anything. What about you, funny little? I was made for Yara. There's no coming around now. What fun is that video? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. That I'm so bad. I couldn't hide this. Alright, what about you? Mushroom Regate 3. <laughs> yeah, what kind of movie were you. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what kind of movie were you shooting, you know? About... Well, you said I like me there for a second. Yeah, sorry, that was a. Uh, uh, slip of the tongue. Me, me, me. Is it not the shivers thing to do to explicate thine own visions before asking such of others? Me. Dude, just fucking tell me. I. What are you. Why are you plugging your ears? Me. I. I need to shan if I don't listen. See, see, 
I guess see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, rank two. Me, <laughs> I'm a level four paladin, baby. Oh yeah, you can't match me, dude. Let even I know a level four paladin. I don't play WoW, and I know that sucks. <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. What about you, big tough lady? Gummy, what kind of movie did you see? Mm -hmm. Oh, Gummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this video by family. Oh, I would not be shaken by something so simple as that. Death is to be accepted when such when dealt with by a more powerful opponent, such as our way. However, I cannot believe my family would be defeated so easily. How could they be? Come on, they spawned me. I'm freaking Diesel. Who's on your movie, kid, Gary? Eh, it's irrelevant. Ah, figures you wouldn't say shit. What about you, my funny stoner Jamaican hippie friend? Doggy, those videos are fake, aren't they, dude? Am I right, dude? Come on, it's like somebody using like Photoshop or something, and some kind of Adobe program. Yeah, I'd like to think so, but uh, what are you talking about, dude? No, I'm red in the face. Oh, it's all a little crap, dude. Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna smoke this. Oh, God, never mind. <laughs> Smoke me this doobie doodly doodly. Alright, let's go find... Let's go find Mizuno. Can I access my map? Yes. Alright, Mizuno, you can't hide. Thanks to this, I know exactly where you'll be. Aha. Uh -huh. That's totally not creepy at all. Is she in her room? Oh, there she is. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. <laughs> wait, no. That's me again. Uh, okay, so I guess I don't know where she is. She must be in a new room. I guess, right? Where are you, Mizuno? Doubt she went very far. She searched around the school zone. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, oh no, that's not you. Oh, I wonder where Mizuno ran off to. That movie was really well done. Almost thought it was real. <laughs> it is just fake, right? Come with the real thing, could it? Could it? <laughs> yeah, I just realized her hair looks kind of like a swirly. Yeah, you know, like a ice cream swirl. That's what I'd like to believe. What if it's not? Good lord, you're short, Nagi. Good freaking lord. I feel like I, like eight feet tall, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just like <laughs> I am a very tiny person in this game. So at least, where were you, Shun? Well, well. Would you like to know? That smile scares me. In this world, there's a surprisingly high volume of information you are better off not knowing. Fine, uh, whatever. Nobody's gonna say shit about what they saw. I don't know where the hell she is. Hey, what? Hey, what? What did you see? What? It's nothing important. Just my motorcycle being smashed? Yeah. Nothing like sappy like family or friends or anything like that. It's not what I'm having friends, because I'm a lone ranger, baby. I think it's just a fake cooked up. Thing burn it by the guy running this thing anyway. Ain't that right? I got this shinagi! Holy balls. Calm down, Sergeant. There she is, good lord. Hey there, crazy pants, how you doing? Oh, you look like you're doing great. She's sitting in a chair in the corner of an abandoned classroom. Her hands clenched atop her knees, gazing absently at the floor. Good lord, I don't like this music. She looked like she was crying and she looked like she was angry. No. She had no expression at all. Good lord. She's gonna go on a murder rampage, isn't she? Damn it. Just when I was... Just when we were starting to get along. There's nothing... There's nothing there you call an expression. It was like her mask had been carved away. Are you alright, Mizuno? Yes, I am. In no way at all, right? <laughs> what? What did we do to deserve? Why are they doing this to us? Let me go! Let me go out! Of, let me get out! Out of here this instant! Mizuno, relax! Calm down! No! I grasped her shoulders as she startled and held them tight. My... I know you feel. When I imagine what might happen to my family and I... But sounds like these... We need to be calm. That's what they're trying to do. Take our ability to think clearly. Anyway, those motives... They're... They've gotta be fabricated. Because if something like that really happened... If that really happened, the police be making all sorts of noise right now. Isn't that right? 
Destiny. Relax, you crazy, crazy psycho bitch. I'll just make, I'll just make things worse if you can't think clearly. I was just saying as much for her as for was for myself. I repeat those words to myself, trying to scrub away the image burning in my mind. Relax, relax. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way to escape. Even better, it's possible possible help could arrive before we do that. What? What if there isn't a way out? And nobody comes to our rescue! We all die! We're all forced to eat that big fat nerd in that other room! Yeah, don't eat me! <laughs> well then, I guess we'll just have to... <laughs> well then, I guess we'll just have to do it. <laughs> Come on. Here's the fast one, he's gotta go first. That happens. Then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes, I swear to you. I'll let you murder me. My words were cut off there. For a moment, I couldn't figure out what was happening to me. Whoa! Uh, Mizuna! Uh. Oh crap, are you stabbing me right now? Because I really don't want to die. Please, help me! My voice trembled slightly. Why did things end up like this? Kill or be killed? I can't- I can't take it anymore! Uh, Mizuna! Mm -hmm. Mizuna lifted her face off, off my chest and looked at me with large wet eyes. When you said, can I believe you? Hmm? You said you would get me out of here yourself, Nagi. No matter what it takes, you swear. Oh, of course. Don't swear that, dude, because then she'll be like, she'll be like later on, You swore you'd get me out of here no matter what. Now I'm going to have to, no matter what it means, I'm going to have to murder you. No, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I didn't really, didn't really think that through very well, did I? No one can believe you, Nagi, so please. No, what, no matter what happens, Nagi, always stay by my side. I'll make babies. What? Absolutely. Well, why wouldn't I? No matter what happens, we're in this together. Through thick and thin. Maybe if we murder everybody in this place, we'll... Because, Mazzoni, you're my sidekick, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nagi. When you say that, I feel like I can trust... I can try just a little bit harder. When I'm with you, Nagi, I feel like I can go that extra mile. After all, I'm an esper. I mean, just kidding. I, like I am your sidekick. Smile, or smile returned to her face. Still a bit clumsy, but... It was world better, world's better than what it had been. Oh, God, where the hell do you keep coming from? I was in the... Stop, I was in the ceiling fan! You don't have a ceiling fan. Shut up! It's rising! Eh! Noggy, it's rising! Oh! Oh, dude, dude, get your hand off my pants. Come on, it's rising! What's rising? It goes without saying. A flag! Oh, yes, that's what I was thinking too. Get out of here! No, no, I want to play too! Answer me this. What were those, what were those movies? Oh, oh, baby, here it comes! It's coming! My pure white! What? Stuffing! Cobs of thick white stuffing! I swung a ball fist at Monokuma with as much power as I could gather. And I swept the air. I swung around propelled by momentum and hit hit my back on something hard. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, Nagi! What will you learn? Da -da 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 -da. Damn it! <laughs> Are you alright? I hadn't thought of that just now. It would have been a violation, but. You're slow, 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 slow. Your, your mom is so slow when she runs a race, then bring finish line to her. <laughs> your vanity, rapid, rapidity of destiny, gravity, and your fatality, gravity, and mentality. Your style is whack, dude. So whack. God, screw you, freaking evil bear of death. <laughs> what just happened? Just plain old harassment. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, all right. I need to go. I need some ice. <sighs> Thanks, you saved me back there, Nagi. Yeah, no, I didn't really. <laughs> the atmosphere having been wrecked by Monokuma, Masono and I returned to the dormitory area. Good lord. Dude, Monokuma is freaking perverted, too. He's like... You all know where he was going with that. Come on. Bro, she's... You probably should get some rest, Masono. You're still, you're still kind of pale. Sorry for causing so much trouble. I'll take, it, take you up on your suggestion. She gave a quick little bow and disappeared into her room. Good freaking lord. To inform the others of her safety, I too returned to my room for a bit. You need to call my rattled mind from the confusion caused by that disturbing video. Maybe now I could finally use my tool set. 
to, I don't know, reconfigure my TV to watch Nickelodeon. God, what's going on? Problems in every direction. But what's the biggest problem of all? Think we can't get out of here? These movies we were shown? Monokuma? The objective of whoever locked us in here? Or is it me, myself? Whoa! Whoa! Wow, I think I might have inhaled some of that stuff that <laughs> Jamaican guy was smoking. Yeah, man! Told you this stuff's the shit! Do, 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 do. One out. We'll kill anyone. So we're not thinking too, right? That is the biggest problem. Well, these, the seeds of doubt have been planted. <laughs> All according to my evil plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ding dong! <laughs> God dang it. I might as well look straight at the clock. It's really tent. When did I fall asleep? It's almost nighttime yet. It's almost here. God dang it. What do you want? Better be, better be good. Better be a girl. Here for love making. Yes! I'm sorry it's so late. I've come to here to show you my bare breasts. Yes! Ah! Oh man, this has got to be a dream, right? Sorry, Slee. Oh, Mizuna. Oh yeah, sure, just come on in. Don't mind me, I was just masturbating. So? Mizuna, what are you doing here at this time of night? And then I noticed. Her body, she was trembling. Did something happen? I'm really sorry, something strange happened. Strange! Something strange. When I laid down in my room... When I... Oh, wait. Wait, what? All of a sudden, the door started rattling. Wait, did she say that? I'm sorry. I, I, did I, I guess I guess she said that. I thought I thought Nagi just said that. Did her voice sounded as if all the air had been forced from her lungs? I grew tense just listening to her. Yeah, I guess she did. It was like someone was trying to force force the door open. It was locked, so they couldn't open it. But they kept shaking. It was just getting worse and worse. I was so scared I couldn't do anything but sit there and wait. Oh, then what happened? a while, it stopped. Then I carefully opened the door and looked around. But no one was there. Ooh. So we'll try to force open your door? But who would do that? It's not that I suspect one, but I'm still I'm a little worried. Well, if something like that happens while well, it's nighttime. It's alright. Going out during nighttime is prohibited. But that was just a mutual agreement, right? What if someone were to break it? Then, well, we'd be fucked. Are you spending the night in my room? You have nothing to be afraid of then, right? Well, I'll protect you. Here, you can sleep in my bed, right next to me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't sleep with any clothes on. You know, that's just, that's normal. What? All the school rules say is sleep is permitted in dormitory bedrooms. Doesn't specify who has to sleep in which bedroom. But then the two of us alone in one room. Oh yeah. Ah, sorry, I didn't think about that. Really, I didn't think about it that way. I promise, I wasn't considering anything funny. Well, I'm not saying I'm opposed to it, but. Oh, yes! In his mind, yes, 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 fuck yeah! Looks like you're gonna be using that tool, that toolbox after all. <laughs> I'm kicky like that. It's alright with you. Would you like to exchange rooms for a night? What? Oh, oh, that's even. Oh, thanks. Yeah, alright, so I'm gonna go to your room where the person's gonna try to kill me, and you can stay in my safe. No, fuck that. You either stay in here and we make sexy love, or you can go back to your bitch ass room. Exchange rooms. Better put your mind at ease, Mizona, then it's fine with me. Though, it's one thing for you to use my room. It's really all right if I go into your room, Mizona. Um, for a variety, variety of reasons. It's personally fine. I trust you, Nagi. In that case, okay, fine. Don't worry, I won't steal your underwear. Put it on my head and call myself Panty Man. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? My arm is no time, ma'am! My arm is in effect! Anyway, go ahead and chill out, have a martini, and see you all bitches tomorrow! Oh, uh -huh. See you later! I'm getting the feeling that it was a, that's a recorded message. <laughs> oh no, it's already nighttime. Alright, then the room exchange is settled. I'm going to your room now. If we're going to trade rooms, we also need to trade keys. You're right, we should trade keys. Uh, again? Of course, I'm an expert. Oh, uh, no, I'm kidding this time. I wasn't kidding. Something resembling a smile returned to Mizuna's face. Thank goodness, at least she's calmed down some. Then let's trade keys. Am I not going to respond to that thing at all? Just, uh. Yes, let's! Change room keys and I return my, my gaze to Mizuna's face. Now she looks like concerned. 
Please be careful, Naki. Just be safe. Don't open the door for anyone, no matter what. Even if it's me. Gotcha. You see, Mizuno, don't open the door for anyone, no matter what. If I'm sure it's you, I won't open the door. The western rooms would be point a little pointless. Alright, just in case, you should probably know the door to my shower is misaligned. So you want to open the door, pull the knob as you twist, then push push the door open. If you do that, it'll open no problem. The showers don't have water during the night time, do they? Oh, you're right, I forgot. Oh god, it's gonna be it's gonna be important some, right? Somehow, right? It's gonna be important somehow. Well, I'll probably use it when I get up in the morning, thank you. That's probably get going. See you tomorrow, Mazuna. Don't kill anybody. Uh, about what I said a moment ago. Hmm? I was keeping up being an expert. It really was just a feeling. Ah, uh, there's the regular whatever. Fucking, I don't care. Yeah, no. Good night. See you tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> God, what a <laughs> what a freaking buzzkill. Up my room, seen seen off by Mazuna's smiling face. Step into the hallway and immediately check my surroundings. Everyone's bedrooms, bedroom doors were properly shut and there was no sign of anyone. Great, nobody's here. I'm confirmed there was no one in the area. I entered Mizona's room. Ooh, you got a pink bed. So this is Mizona's room. Doesn't look that different from mine, but I think it smells nice. Ooh, so I bet it's in the trash can. But I think to myself, that's not quite right to look at other people's trash. I take a quick peek. Oh, God, there's a tampon in here. And what the... No doubt about that. This is the DVD she got in the AV room. I'm gonna think about it. I never asked Mizuno what she saw. But all I can do is wait for her to tell it me herself. Or I could just totally take this and watch it later. Take it! Take the fucking disc! Just just do it, you freaking weenie. Oh, god dang it. She threw it away. She's not gonna notice it's gone. Come on. The bed itself is largely the same as the one in my room, but thinking about Mazona sleeping here, I imagine it to be quite comfortable. Ooh, giggity. Oh yeah, give me money, baby. Give me money! In my room there was a tool set, but in Mizuno's room there was a sewing kit. And next to it, it is a human pressure point diagram. Oh, might as well check the bathroom. The upgirl showers do indeed come with a lock. I'm a little hesitant to go inside. It's not fair to Mizuno for me to sleep around her room too much. I should probably hit a bed. I slowly relinquish myself to the bed and find myself embracing a pleasant scent. Mmm, girl smell. <laughs> Mizuno scent. Somehow I feel like I'm going to have pleasant dreams tonight. Oh boy. I might want to change the sheets when I'm done. Holding on to that little bit of happiness, I drifted toward dreamland. Whee! I can fly! Monokuma Theater Act 4! Oh, it's me again! Oh, now I've got a globe! This is the inside of a spaceship. You're all currently on a journey through space. Are you familiar with Noah's Ark? That's right, we have been the Earth. There's no danger of proof, police brutality, drunk drivers, power maniacs, or mental neighbors. Breathing problems drove from exhaust fumes or atmosphere pollution are no longer concerned. Of course, because there's no air in space. Huh? Of course, there is no need to worry about self exams or competitive robbery. However, there are still rules in this free and beautiful world. Freedom can only exist supported by the bonds of rules. If you desire at all costs to return to that helpless shithole of planet, then follow the rules. Do, what I, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, may I follow each and every one of you? Ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> Morning, bitches. Hey, doggy, I see you got some more than wood there. Damn it. <laughs> I guess the best day it could be. Oh! Da -da 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 Rubbing the sleep out of my eyes and the <laughs> and the wood out of my pants, I slowly rose from the bed. It was on his room. That's right. We all prom promised to have breakfast together. Better get going. I left from his room, head for the cafeteria. What's up? Only a few people. When I arrived, some people were already there. Ah, good morning to you, Nagi. Listen to this. I was the first to arrive this morning. Isn't that amazing? That's great. That's great, eyebrows. Yes. Eh, good morning. Morn. Early to rise, I see. Mm. Early. <laughs> only the best warriors. <laughs> only the best warrior will be the, get the worm when it's early to rise. Or, ah, fuck, I don't. 
What am I talking about? I snorted a lot of fumes last night. People gathered in the first wave were those in the student students with good habits category. The ones who showed up a bit late. Yeah, <laughs> I was playing WoW. I got to level five now. So. Sorry, I'm late. Took a little bit longer to do my makeup than usual. <laughs> oh dear, please use my darn it. I was so engaged in my morning work, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Susan was slightly loose adherence at the time. Most high schools probably fall into this group. And then there were the ones who were wait, ev make everyone way drifting unfashionably late. Sorry, I'm late. I was busy being a secret CIA agent. Good morning, everyone. I was busy ruining the lives of all my enemies. Sir, bitches, I just overslept because, you know, uh, uh whatever. <laughs> oh, what? Is there something wrong with me being late? I was busy plotting, murdering all of you. I didn't oversleep. I just couldn't find my way, dude. I got lost in the Bermuda Triangle, truth, truth. And I may have been a little stoned, but that's beside the point. To those whose tomb time holds no meaning, living at their own pace and concern about others. Thus, everyone finally gathered. Under normal circumstances, that would have been true. Hmm, we're not here yet. Still missing Mizuno and Tagami. Oh, I bet they're getting giggity in the broom closet. I expected no less of Tagami. Mizuno should have been with the students with good habits crowd. And she wasn't here. What, did I? Did something happen? Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> You're like the freak. You're like Monokuma. You just come out of nowhere. You to go. You seem, seem so no around. I'm like I don't know where she is. I left my room. Came straight here. Yeah, you got no work breakfast. Oh no! Oh no! She lives her life by her schedule. Let's hear them talk. The small seed of apprehension planted in my breast slowly began to sprout. Uh, I'm gonna go check on her. No sooner the words had left my mouth, I darted out into the hall. Oh shit! She can be freaking dead. That would suck. I arrived at my destination, the room I had exchanged with Mizuno for one night, my room. The room she was supposed to have slept in. However, that room. Oh, fucking balls. This pain of single night had transformed into something completely different. What the hell? No! What the hell? Was somebody playing tic tac toe on my floor? What happened here? No, tic tac toe. Well, it's a lot of stuff. Well, what the hell is that? The key has fallen the floor with my name on it. Seems rude. I gave this to Mizuno. Oh, no, not my samurai sword. It's the guild practice sword I brought back for self-defense. The blade had been drawn from the scabbard. More importantly, what about Mizuno? Large quantity of lint roller tape is missing. This lint. More importantly, what about Mizuno? Oh shit, is she in the shower? Peek in the shower. I peeked into the. Shower. Oh no! Fuck! That didn't take long. It took me a while for. Took me a while to realize I was screaming. Wait, why is she bleeding pink blood? The sight before me burned itself into my retinas, and then, and then. Stage went dark. Well, at least we know she's not the killer. Ha ha ha. Never day life. Huh. Open my eyes wide oh, open to the open ceiling. Somewhat fa familiar wide open ceiling. I sat up and this time I saw a face. Somewhat familiar face. Oh, you're finally awake. You okay? Say the, say the time for a nice relaxing wake up. Turn your ass up. What happened? Dude, you lost consciousness, Nags. So we carried you here. It's not unthinkable in such a situation. Such a situation? Oh, God, really? She's the first one to die? I don't, I don't believe... I'm kind of surprised. I thought she'd be... Seeing as how... I guess that's why they bonded so quickly. Now she's freaking murdered. Freaking dead. We're all dead. No, you're, are you sure you're okay? It wasn't a dream. That wasn't a dream. No, that was reality. Because I murdered her. Oh, I'm just kidding. Or maybe I'm not. Sayaka Mizuno is dead. 
A thick, slimy despair threw out th spread throughout my body, through my body, then burst out like an explosion. Blah! And then I farted. I jumped up and then ran. Where do you intend to go? What do you think? I have to see. I have to see Mizuno. I have to see Mizuno. Everyone's already confirmed it. There is no doubt. Sayaka Mizuno is dead. No, I'm going. Shut up. You should sit still. What's going to change if you go? What's the point of staying here? And anyway, what's everyone doing in the gymnasium at a time like this? For Mizono. She's friggin' dead! Dead, it finally hit me when that word left my mouth. So much for that plan, huh? Is that a number behind her? 3 7? She's probably more behind her. It's like some secret code. We move her body. Mizono's dead. We're not here, everyone. We'll leave her. Why? Well, isn't it obvious, Marakuma? He told us to gather here. Of course, we objected. What are you saying? Something terrible has happened to Mizuno. However, it was my suggestion. I recommend, to, recommend we all follow his orders for the time being. We're prisoners, are we not? There's little merit in us fighting every, back every step of the way. To avoid any more needless sacrifice. Why should we have to listen to the, what that thing tells us to do? It's obvious that he is the one who killed Mizuno. Oh! Oh, you're so funny, doggy! Jesus! I wouldn't do something like that! I don't believe anything, believe that! Man, you dare show your face! Oh shit, man, I'm about to go all Super Saiyan Goku on your ass! Once the rule has been violated, I will personally not, will not personally get involved. Aside from the movies, which I made and put around. So, but, you know, that doesn't count. I certainly wouldn't do anything that goes against the spirit of academy life. I'm famous as Firebox for being twice as, str as stringent about the rules as the other bears. <laughs> but then, who killed? You already know the answer. It was one of you guys who killed Zaya Kamazono. Oh! At those words, we fell into complete silence. One of us killed Mazono? No. No! That's not possible. Huh? Something wrong? Face looks like a dove that got mowed down by a gun. Oh! <laughs> Which I do on occasion, just for sport. Come on, didn't we already go over this? All that happens is one of you guys killed Mizuno so you can graduate. There, those are the rules. There's nothing wrong with it. You're lying, yes. Of course he's lying. He's the one who killed her. Nope. <laughs> Killer is one of you guys. The person who did the deed should know that perfectly well. Huh? Consciously, I looked around at everyone's face. Everyone else was doing the same. Trade glances. Trade glances laced with fear, confusion, and suspicion. Back and forth, back and forth. Is that the truth? Who killed her? Who there? My goodness, some of you still can't accept it. Shut, shut it! I ain't buying that shit. Silence. Well, still here, I have something I'd like to verify with that with the teddy bear over there. Assuming one of us is really a murderer, that person is able to graduate, correct? Huh? Don't play stupid. You said so yourself. One can graduate by con committing murder. Man, man, why the goof out? <laughs> well, because you're naive, way too naive. You think it's just that easy? Just kill someone? That's usually naive, dangerously naive, hellishly naive. Oh, come on, man. You need to start. You need to lay out the rules a little bit better at the beginning. Shut up! I'm the bear. I decide what happens. On the contrary, the real fun starts here. The real fun. How about this? I tell you about the supplemental rules concerning graduation. As I've explained to you, you can't graduate unless you kill someone. But in doing so, there was another promise you had to keep too, wasn't there? The sixth rule. Oh. You must. The villain who kills one of his companions will not be allowed to graduate provided his crime is not betrayed to the. Oh. You must not betray the other students that you are a murdering villain. I believe that's what you're referring to, yes? Bingo! Just killing is good enough. You gotta do the deed and get away with it. So a short while after you got your, after you off some poor sucker to see if you satisfy those conditions, we'll hold a class trial. Class trial. The trial will begin in a few hours after a corpse has been discovered. For which time the murderous villain will have a fish showdown in the class courtroom versus the remaining students, the heroes. Ho -ho. Oh, hey, Nick. Uh, okay, so I guess this is what my skills are for. I guess. 
Question at the trial is, which one of you guys is the super number high school villain? The answer to that question will be decided by a vote conducted at the end of the trial. The answer you guys come up with is correct. The order of disrupting villain will be punished and everyone else will get to continue life together. Man, few of the jury selects the wrong person as a villain. The villain will love on having escaped from his sins and the rest of you hero, your hero, you heroes will be punished. If that happens, of course, your lives here will be forcibly concluded. And that's, it. And that's all there is to class trials, folks. Oh. Yeah, but by the way, this word you keep repeating, punish, how do you mean? Oh, how to put it simply, I'm talking executed. <laughs> no, God, no. No. <laughs> what do you mean, executed? Yeah. Good lord, it's a creepy face. By execution, I mean execution. In the literature, Bello Bello with a poison gas ripped to pieces by a hurricane. As apparently, I have control over the weather. In, in, in other words, if we are correct in choosing the killer, only the killer will be killed. But if we are wrong, all of us will be executed. No! Which a smart chimpanzee? That did pan appeal of innocence, a nice little trick, too. Basically, this is like the late, late judging system in the outside world. You guys are the ones who decide who the criminal is. However, you can't make decisions that lightly. All of you guys' lives are at stake after all. I'll add that to the school rules, so you can go back and look at it whenever you want. School rules have been modified. Great. You can verify the change from within your lecture ID. Oh, just wait a second. This is like all totally fucking bullshit bananas and bullshit batshit crazy, baby. Hmm? What's up with all this crap about class trials? No way I'm participating. Uh, and why is that? Like, you even need to ask? I should have to play this Find the Culprit game with you. What's this? Someone will participate in the class trial, then they must be penalized. Huh? Penalized? I'll probably lock you up in a dark, scary prison or something. What are you blabbering? Even if you threaten me, I'm still not participating. How selfish! You're the one being selfish. Maybe just kill each other? Leave me out of it. Oh, such overwhelming evil power is staring me in the eyes. I'm shaking in my boots. Oh. But I will not yield to the dark. I will not yield to the darkness. Monaco will always fight to the bitter end. If you truly wish to pass, you must take me down first. Ha ah! As he finished Monaco by charge, his feet fitter patter against the floor. Ah! <laughs> his battle cry echoing throughout the room. Prepare for death, Monaco! But... Oh! Now see, if this were Corpse Party, we would've just gotten a freaking, just like, big shot of her freaking panties. This is what, like, this is why that was so baffling in that game. It's like, it's like, no, this is what normally would happen, is you just kind of shade it out. And then, no, in Corpse Party, it's just like, let's just show this girl's butt and panties, why not? Oh, God! There, there, are you happy now? Hurry right, I got you! Huh? Well, I'm the headmaster. Bonacuma is prohibited. This is a violation. Did you forget? Dip shit up with a fucking bomb. You might call a spear of legend. Gungner, come to thy master's aid. Holy balls. What? Oh my god. Well, shit. I didn't see that coming. Oh god. No. Ugh. Thank God, I did my nails today. Huh? What? That doesn't make sense. Why me? In the following moments, Inishima's eyes went wide. Holy fuck! Everyone's now. Everyone's just fucking dying. Like that is this is freaking crazy. Just like that, she never moved again. Oh, what? Wh what? Mermaid swap? No. You gotta be shitting me, man. Oh, this is like some freaking. Oh, God! This is like Saw or something, man. <laughs> Inconceivable! Mode. Yeah! I'm feeling it right now. The importance of tropes. <laughs> I was wondering to avoid causing any unnecessary deaths, if at all possible. But I guess sacrificial lamb really is necessary. Man, I love that trope. Oh, and I love murdering, too. Wait, why is the. Actually, I'm starting to wonder why the hell is the blood pink? Really? This I, am I making this okay for the children or something? But hey, you guys get it now, don't you? 
I mean business. If you resist, I'll make Swiss cheese out of you, blow you up, bury you alive, melt you, and etc. So if you don't want to end up like that, you guys better adhere strictly to the rules. Holy freaking nuts. Good freaking... So much death in this episode. Hiroshima's body skewered by spears. A pool of blood was formed beneath it. Is anyone else wondering... Sorry, is anyone else not wondering why the blood's pink? That was the first time I'd seen the moment of a person's death. They could tell just by looking. Inoshima, our friend, until just moments ago. Uh, actually, we didn't. Did anyone really like Inoshima? Be perfectly honest. Yeah, I liked your boobs. <laughs> no, not particularly. But not, not so much. She was the only other person who was almost as rich as I was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's not that that close. <laughs> Man, I don't know. She was kind of a dirty, slow, dirty whore. She was a dirty whore. It's dead. Killed. Terminated. It all happened just like that. This is death. Death! Oh, that's nothing to be surprised about. She's just dead. All she is is dead. It's as ridiculous as you as the inevitable, inevitable destruction of mankind. It's as sterling natural as the inevitable end of the world. This isn't some RPG. <laughs> oh, bring the fourth wall, bitch. Cram as many bird feathers down her throat as you want. She ain't coming back. <laughs> no. Hurry. Yeah, I'm gonna get my Phoenix down out. I've been waiting for this occasion just to use this freaking Phoenix down. No! Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not working! I, I paid $300 for this thing! No! <laughs> nope, this is reality! Why did you kill her? Why did you go into prison, huh? Oh, I changed my mind! You didn't pre premediate her murder, huh? Premediate? How do you spell that? Premeditate. I premeditated her murder. Is what you said? Hey, hey, I'm Monokubo. Oh, that's not terribly important. I have something I need to give you guys before you start searching for the villain. Assuming that wasn't her I just killed. It's the file with some data I gathered on the corpse. I call it the Monokubo file. Woohoo! I mean, you guys are amateurs. There's only so much you can find out from a corpse. So I went ahead and gathered info on the body and any cause of death, deathy for you. Well, you're wondering how I know what the cause of death is. I was whole thing start to finish. It's stunning high definition and clarity thanks to my security cameras. It's pretty cool. You know who the culprit is. The one who killed myself. You betcha. I didn't, I could make an impartial judgment of the glass trial, but could I? Yes, I don't know. It should be impartial. So I relieved to hear that. Alrighty then, best of luck on your investigation. Um, you're gonna need all the luck you can get! Do what you gotta do! I'll be seeing you again soon at the class trap! Oh! And with that, Monokuma fucking went in the floorboards again. Leaving us confused, bewildered, alone with she was horribly mangled body. Good lord. Dude, that wasn't Gungner. That Gungner spear it assumes one spear. That was like 18 spears. For some time, not one of us could even open our mouths to speak. Naturally, we were shocked by Mazona and Inoshima's rash irrational deaths, but that wasn't all. Someone in this room killed another human being. On top of that, if we don't find who did it, everyone else will be executed. We looked at each other with mistrusting eyes. Could, could things get any worse? However, despite the disturbing abnormality of our situation, she was not perturbed in the slightest. Is this really the time to be, de be depressed? Besides, with everyone so blindly mistrusting one another, much like blind faith, the outcome can only be disaster. Huh? We need to work together. It's up to you who you want to believe and who you want to doubt. Indeed, fretting over the deceased won't benefit anyone. But that's awful! I've warned you numerous times already. Those who cannot adapt will simply die. The ability to adapt disobedience is things lead to death. You reap what you sow. You're terrible! Even in this situation, that's way out of line! We need to focus on figuring out who the killer is, first of all. If we don't, then all of us will be executed. Precisely. It's time to begin the hunt. Uh huh. Either way, we cannot escape it. We have no other choice. We got no choice! This is really our only choice! Excuse my ass, you ain't fucking killing me! Hell no! She let's get going. Come on, baby! Have no choice. Everyone. When everyone was whispering about that to ourselves, it's trying to instill in us some confidence and drive. So we have no other choice. If we don't want to, we have no other choice. 
Our one chance is holding to our lives. We have no other choice. Beyond that, I need to know. Why was Mizono killed? Why did Mizono have to die? I'm afraid of the answer, but I have to know. If I don't, I'll never be able to accept Mizono's death. Never, never! It's probably... I bet it's Fukawa. Come on, she's freaking bananas. That's why I have no choice. Alright. Alright, guys. Well, this shit fucking picked up, didn't it? Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here for now. Like for if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now to Hot Boy the SLP. Where the days are always sunny, and the vids are always fun. And till next time, guys, stay alive. <laughs>